you're always exploring a different style of music and helping that particular style of music come to fruition in front of a, a big audience. Hi, my name's Carmel Dean and I am a musical director. A musical director wears a million different hats. Um, there are many different facets of, of the music department that, that have to be um, taken care of. As a musical director, um, it's my passion to ensure that the style of music is, is going to be true to whatever the composer wants and true to the, the, the theatrical experience. I have been playing the piano since I was three years old. So it's always been a part of my life. I don't even remember asking to take piano lessons. I didn't actually get involved in theater until 11th or 12th grade. Um, I did two musicals in high school. Um, one was The Boyfriend with Heath Ledger coming from the, um, the neighboring boy school. And um, then I got involved in the amateur theater scene in Perth and it just opened up this whole wide world that I didn't know about and I fell in love with it. In 2000, I was lucky enough to be awarded a Fulbright scholarship. Um, so I came to New York University. One of the faculty members down there is William Finn. And I went up to him on one of the first days that I met him and I told him how much I was a fan and that I would love to work with him. And I can't believe it was as easy as that, but that's basically how I met Bill and started working for him. And he asked me to assist him on Elegies, his song cycle at Lincoln Center. And um, pretty soon after that, he started writing Spelling Bee. And he asked me to do the vocal arrangements. And um, I was pretty involved in um, that entire writing process and I ended up also being the associate conductor of the show once it moved to Broadway. A good musical director needs patience, um, needs to have a good ear, obviously. There's a lot going on. Starting in rehearsals, the musical director works with the singers to teach them the vocal parts and often there are you know, many different vocal lines going on depending on the arrangement. I've always loved working with singers to encourage and to teach and to help them shine the way that they have the ability to. There's also the collaboration with the um, director, the musical supervisor in the case of American Idiot is Tom Kitt, who also did the orchestrations and the vocal arrangements. So we work hand in hand in, in making sure that the music um, not only sounds as good as it, as it can, but also serves the dramatic um, requests of the piece. And I'm working with Michael Mayer and Stephen Hoggett, the choreographer. Um, you know, it's one giant collaboration to make sure that the story is being told the way they want it to be told. Before, before we go into performance, so in the rehearsal room, it's, it's all about being a vehicle for um, Tom Kidd, his musical intentions. Um, so making sure that the singers know exactly what they're doing and that the band is playing the correct, um, the correct patches on guitar, the different sounds, um, that the keyboard is programmed the way that Tom wants it to, to sound. And then once the show opens, um, a big part of my job is maintaining all of those aspects. And that's what's interesting too, the musical director is or one of the only members of that original creative and production team from the rehearsal room who then continue with the show. So currently I'll have a vocal rehearsal every one or two weeks. The beauty of a vocal rehearsal is they can just stand there and sing and focus in on what everyone else is singing and not have to worry about the choreography and the quick costume changes, you know, making sure they're ready for the next cue. It's just a chance to get back to the very um, basic musical elements of the show. And it's, it's actually tricky to, to remember that when they've got all these other elements that they're doing on a nightly basis. Um, I don't remember the last show that we've done where there's been a full cast in. We've had understudies on, we've had cast changes. So every night there is, um, there's a quick put in rehearsal or just a run through um, with, these, with whoever's going on in whatever different track they're doing, if they may not have done it before. 
Um, so to making sure those people know what they're doing in you know, a 15 minute window before the show starts. And then I run up to my little dressing room and throw my costume on and put my makeup on and put my hair in the little twists. And eight o'clock come down and, and start conducting the show. The band is on stage in American Idiot. It's so wonderful to have the band be appreciated and to be visible. There's so many shows. The orchestra is under the stage. It's so different to anything I've ever done because it's, you know, it's, it's a punk rock genre, but it, it's also theatre. As a music director, you need to be so well versed in, um, in switching gears stylistically. You know, a lot of people ask me, oh, you're, you're that punk rock conductor. And I'm like, well, I am right now. Um, and I love it. And I love this music to death. But I, I love a Stephen Sondheim musical, you know, more than anything. And I, you know, love William Finn. And um, basically, if it's good music, I'm attracted to it. The best part of musical direction is the collaborative process and working with so many different artists. Everybody brings something different to whatever piece it is that you're constantly, you know, being blown away by these amazing people that you're working with. Um, and not only that, you then get to um, be a part of making amazing music every night.